Good evening, everyone. Um, my name's Jamie Bing. I'm the publisher at Canongate Books, and Canongate is thrilled to be publishing this groundbreaking and I think extremely important anthology, The People Speak, The Voices That Changed Britain. My job and certainly my aim tonight is to get off the stage as quickly as possible because there are so many people coming onto this stage over the next hour and a half doing something that I think will both entertain and anger and delight and shock and move you. It was almost two years ago to the day that I was in the audience at the Prince Charles Theatre in the West End when Colin Firth and Anthony Arnov put on the first UK performance of The People Speak. Colin's going to come on and say a little more about the kind of the, the genesis of The People Speak and how come there's now a, a British version of it. But the experience of being in that audience was all those things I described about what I hope the evening will do to you tonight. That was the impact it had on me. It was a very long afternoon. It was three and a half hours, and we're not going to be three and a half hours here, although I'm sure you want it to go on um, as long as it does, probably longer than it goes on when you start to hear these people perform. But I really just need to say a few thanks and do a bit of housekeeping here. Um, first of all, I want to thank the Tabernacle for letting us use this great space for this event. So thank you. Um, Canongate has a lot of brilliant people working at it, and, and there are many of them here tonight. I'm not going to mention them all by name, but uh, there are about a dozen of them, I think, here this evening. I want to pay a particular thanks to, to Anna and to Angela and to Jazz and to Kate for all the work they've done in helping Anthony and Colin pull this um, event off. So thank you all very much, everyone. Canongate. Um, I also want to thank uh, Brenda Coughlin, the partner of Anthony Arno, because she uh, is someone I've got to know over the last few years and I'm very happy to have got to know. And she, with Anthony, has really um, helped put this whole evening on. So she deserves a, a particular thanks. So thank you, Brenda. And I also want to thank, and I've yet to meet him, a man called Tom Davidson, who I believe is in the house, who is the, uh, he was the, the man at the History Channel who was responsible for really the first commissioning of the people speak in this country. They, they were filming the event I was at two years ago, and uh, if it wasn't for the History Channel, we might not be here. So thank you, Tom, and thank you, the History Channel. Um, the book that we're launching, this is what it looks like. Um, three people are in the audience out there with you who are actually in the book, and I just wanted to mention them by name, because all three of their contributions are to the book are, are really powerful and, are, and I think wonderful. Um, one is Victoria Britton, and I think she's somewhere on the table over there. Um, and also Mary Compton, a teacher who gave an incredible, incredible speech at the Stop the War rally. And and a young man called Barnaby Rain. So I just want to say thank you all for coming along. Um, also, one of the people you're going to see on stage, as well as um, reading something brilliant from the book, also contributed something, and that's the great Ian McKellen. So um, he probably can't hear you, but he's behind there. And now I just want to finally say a few words about why we published this book. As I said, I was two years ago in an audience and I saw about 35 different performers bring history alive in a way that I'd never seen before myself. And I think this, this book is capturing something really important, which are the voices of people who over the centuries in this country have questioned things that need to be questioned and have tried to change things for the better, for society, for, for the kind of the, the, the majority rather than the minority. And the book is a, it's really a, a kind of celebration of dissent and of people kind of questioning the, the establishment and the status quo and the, and the views that have become, uh, have allowed to become the kind of dominant ones. And um, I think it's in his introduction that Colin says without you know, we take so many things for granted right now at this time in, in the late, in the middle of the, the early part of the 21st century, but so many of the things we take for granted weren't the norm for most people in this country 
a thousand years ago or 500 years ago or a hundred years ago or 30 years ago. And this book really pays dues and celebrates those people who had the bravery and who had, had the ability to articulate things that needed to be articulated. There's a, a British writer called Patrick Ness who says, history is the story that sticks. And one of the things I love about books is there are a way in which stories can stick in a very, very kind of inescapable way. And I think that's why this book is important because it allows you to see for the first time this incredible plethora of people who've been willing to go wherever they need to go and often risking their lives to change things for the better. So I want to really end by saying, raising a toast to all the people who are in this book, whether they're dead or alive, because they've helped us all kind of become, I think, who we are right now. So here's to them, and I hope you have a fantastic evening tonight. I really appreciate all of you coming, and um, that's me. Thank you very much. Thank you.